Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2022 Mathematics exam. Today we will discuss the differential equation questions asked question number 19, 20, 33 and 58 with the help of various shortcut fits. You can simply follow my telegram link where you can find the various discussions and the other concepts are there. Else you can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harishkar where you can find the various lectures related to GATE examinations. So let's start with this all these questions with the help of the shortcut tricks. Uh, this is the initial value problem and you have to find exact unique and then so on. So the, what is the shortcut tricks for you? Any of the differential equation dy upon dx is f of xy. Make sure the coefficient should be 1. Then it gives you a unique solution provided these three conditions are satisfied. The first one is f must be a continuous. The first condition is that. Second is f is uh, bounded. And the third condition is that f satisfies the Lipschitz condition is there. That is, this should be a finite value r. So once these three conditions are satisfied, then we can say it's a unique solution. If you look about this function, what is your f of xy? This is nothing but my cos xy. Clearly says that this is a continuous because f is a trigonometric function is a continuous. What is the bounded is? You can you can start with the f of xy. Take the modulus. What is the mode of the cos xy? it is always be less than equal to 1 so it is a bounded also now you can do what is that you can start with the partial derivative of y what is the partial derivative of this f that is my minus x sin x y now you can take the modulus so you can say this since negative is positive so it will be a less than or equal to mod x and sin of x y so sin x is always be less than of 1 so it is my here so since it is an initial value problem, so x0 is there, so this value is less than of say some constant number is there. So it means this is also finite, so therefore the result of this problem is, it is always be a unique solution. So that's the answer of this. So this is the simple shortcut tricks behind this question. Okay, so look about the next one is there, which is the problem related to this term Leibniz problem. And you have to find which eigenfunction which is orthogonal you have to find the weight vector w. What is the meaning of that? This is the second order differential equation. So it has the two solutions, say y of m and y of n. And what is the meaning of the orthogonal is? If you multiply this by weight, ym of x, yn of n is zero. So your target is to find for what value of this w so that you will get the answer as a zero. There are two methods. One is the long method where you can find the solution of this y1 plus c2 y2 where y1 is m1 and m2. But what is the shortcut tricks behind you? This is the stem Leibniz problem. So what is the stem Leibniz problem is r y dash of this plus q plus lambda p of y is equal to 0 where this p, q and r are the functions of x. Now once this is, the, this is the standard form of this, now what is the weight vector? So this weight vector is nothing but my p. Whatever the p is written here, that is nothing but my weight vector. So your target is to find the value of p. How you can do that? You can simply solve it. This is r dash y dash plus r y double dash plus q plus lambda p of y is 0. Now you can compare them. So this is the y double dash. The coefficient of them is y. So you can make them coefficient is 1. So y double dash plus r dash upon r is y dash plus k u upon r plus lambda times p upon r of y is 0. So now once you will compare, what is that? r dash over r is nothing but my minus 3. k u upon r is my 0 because I can write this number as minus of this is 0. So this is the lambda of y. So q over r is 0 and p over r is my minus 1. So now how you can find the value of p? This is your target. So from here you can easily see r is nothing but e raised to power minus 3x. Once you substitute here, from here you will get q as a 0 but our target is to p. p upon r is my minus 1. So what is the value of p? e raised to power minus 3x or since minus 1 is a constant so e raised to power minus 3x is the value of this weight so e raised to power minus 3x a is the right answer of this problem that's a very simple shortcut tricks you have to compare this problem with the help of 
stream levels are those and whatever the p you will get the right answer of this one okay look about this uh, this is the ordinary differential equation so which things come in your mind when you see this problem this is nothing but my power series or you can see about the frobenius series how you can solve it if you try to solve in the examination you can take the second derivative substitute here first derivative and then uh, take the lowest value as a zero but what is the shortcut tricks for you whenever there is a differential equation of this form x square y double dash plus p x y dash plus q y is my zero where p and q are the functions of x whenever this condition will satisfied then any of the solution this is the what is the shortcut tricks for you whenever this is there then the condition on this r will be r r minus 1 for this plus p of 0 r plus q of 0 is 0 from here you can find the value of r so if you look about this if you compare them what is the value of the px p is a function of the x so if you compare them p is nothing but my 1 what is the q of x coefficient of the y so that is my x square so if you substitute this value here what is the answer of this r r minus 1 p of 0 is 1 R k of zero is zero, so what is the meaning of that? This is r square minus r plus r is zero, so r square is zero. So value of r is my zero. So if you substitute here, what is the answer of this? Is my one is the right answer. So remember, whenever the differential equation of this form x square y double dash and so on, this is the shortcut tricks. Whenever there is a question related to the power or the Frobenius series. Okay, look about the next one. Are there so again? This is the differential equation, which is the system of the equations, which is solved with the help of the second order Runge-Kutta methods. So we all knows that what is the second order Runge-Kutta method? This is plus k1 plus k2 upon 2. This is the second order Runge-Kutta method. And but here, if you look about this equation, this is not be the half and half. However, this what is that? This suggested you 1 by 4 of k1. And three by four of k two. The first step is your target is to find the value of alpha and beta. That's very simple. The first rule is whatever the value of alpha and beta is the coefficient of the h and this in case of the Runge-Kutta they are must be equal. Fine. Now instead of this, now this is not the second order, so they are talking about here. So what is the general formula for you? This is the shortcut tricks. Remember this always. Y i plus One minus one upon two of k one and one upon two alpha of k two. Clearly says that when you take alpha as a one, for example, alpha is a one, then this value is nothing but my here. But they are talking about this one. So if you compare them, if you compare this different this equation with here, what is the coefficient of the k two? What is the coefficient of this is three by four. So can you find the value of alpha from here? Alpha is my two by three. Once alpha is my two by three, so beta is also two by three. Then what is the value of the alpha beta? Alpha beta is my four by nine. So that is the right answer of this problem. So you can round them with the two decimal places. You will get the right answer of this problem as well. So remember, this is the shortcut tricks. Whenever there is a question related to the second order differential equation by the Runge-Kutta, so you can compare them always and so on. Always make sure alpha and beta. Of this increment are always be equal. So that's the answer of this problem. So I hope you can learn this numerical uh, differential equation in a very simple manner. You, you can find some more lectures in my next videos. Till then, you can simply follow my uh, playlist CSR Net Gate channel name Dr. Harish Kar, where you can find the various shortcut videos of the linear algebra differential equation vector calculus all in my previous videos. I hope you can like, share, and comment this video with your friends. Happy learning, students. Thank you.